So as internal affairs, I've been requested to review your professional standards here. And openly, what I'm understanding is you have sexually assaulted someone in the name of your God. At no time did you have one right as a police officer in our jail to take someone out of their clothes after you drugged them here. At no time did your men underneath you or any woman who works for you have the right to tie that man's religious beard in a knot. At no time did you have the right to pretend he was some sort of play toy or some sort of doll thing that your men could play with where they could shave his head when he didn't ask for a haircut. At no time did he give you any sexual consent because he was not asked at all by your men when they decided to shave his pubic hair or his body hair or his leg hair or his back hair or his front hair. And at this point, there's enough photographs that show that he had that hair. He was so apparently gross to his eldest sister when he was burning up in his house that we know that somebody was playing with him there. But openly, he might have been having hot flashes because his sibling might have been giving him drugs illegally or hormones illegally without his care, meaning without his knowledge, without his consent. And openly, a cake he made got completely ruined because someone was trying to put something in there that didn't make it taste right. The beauty of certain foods that a person eats is knowing immediately whether something's off. At the same time, God may recognize when it is and isn't okay to do things because of what will happen to you later. Is that you and your entire crew are going to have a lawsuit again. You already was in one. Do you recall that our whole government had a class action lawsuit that was put on you while he was there in your jail? But you immorally and illegally, with the help of some mental health bitch, put him in a singular cell which he didn't need to be there for three months. And then you illegally and immorally allowed your men to be insulting to him, asking him questions about his past life in a position of power and authority, which meant that if he didn't answer, he could possibly be in trouble by your rule book there. And then you had three bitches from your organization stand against him when he was trying to figure out why the fuck was his federal mail uh, transferred there. So let's be clear, you missed so many opportunities to do your job under the law, it's not even funny here. But when you provided private medical information across your entire fucking jail in front of other inmates, you fucked yourself there. That fucking nurse for that outsourced company, CG, whatever the fuck it is, didn't have a right to talk to anyone about his medical condition at all under HIPAA law. No, every fucking officer didn't have to know this information, and you fucked yourself there. You should have left him alone in medical, you should have taken out the prisoner that was harassing him, and openly you screwed yourself in that call. You and Stinson are facing the wall. So be prepared for that, Lackus. You fucked yourself, then you thought you'd take his information, you put in front of a whole bunch of black people who you know are the gossips of America, according to what we see in your jail. Because A. Anderson took his information across the state line or somebody else passed it to a sheriff while he was walking across fucking America because your assholes took his car away from him? Let's just be clear. How wonderful do you want this to make the news? Because eventually some reporter is going to pull her head out of her ass and do the job, which shows that people have rights, but you failed every bit of his private rights, every bit of his personal rights, every bit of his public rights, every bit of his human rights with your game and your play. And it doesn't matter if some of those people really liked him and regarded him, what they've done after he had left is something that's the responsibility of your fucking jail because you thought that his little loins were yours to play with there.